The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The trial chamber is back in session, de and uh, the floor is given to uh, the Defense Council for Nguyen Chi uh, to uh, put Nguyen questions Chia. to the experts. Uh, Council, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon again, Mrs. Becker. Re -bonjour, uh, before Becker. the break, we we spoke about um, the U.S. Congress report. Avant la pause, nous parlions du rapport du Congrès américain. Nous parlions des ambitions vietnamiennes. Cambodia. We spoke about Cambodge. Soviet um, policy or nous ideas des about what Vietnam's ambitions were. Soviétiques. Nous parlions des politiques, des idées soviétiques par rapport au Vietnam et aux ambitions vietnamiennes. Nous parlions également uh, de la course, Chine. Um, who is missing in this um, lineup is. Uh, King Father Sihanouk, Et bien sûr, il nous restait à parler du roi Sihanouk as to the uh, Vietnamese invasion in uh, 1978 79. Uh, uh, you spoke already briefly about uh, Prince Sihanouk. Um, uh, you spoke about uh, your vous avez interview or his, rather his press vous conference in Beijing. De sa de presse um, à Pékin. Would you be able to tell us some, some details about uh, the content of that five-hour uh, press conference that uh, Prince Xi Jinping gave in Beijing uh, in January 79? Um, yes, it's, <clears throat> as I talked about it with the international prosecutor, Réponse, it was a long interview. He explained what it was like to be in um, under house arrest, how um, his whole, his whole, his whole, what he lived through during democratic Kampuchea. Um, then he went on to New York to the UN, and that's a speech that I actually covered, where he um, threw in his lot with the, with with democratic Kampuchea, saying that he was really worried about Vietnam. And then afterwards is when Vietnam, he then tried to, um, to um, stay in the United States or France, and they refused. Suite, uh, de aux mais my, my question refusé. as to his press conference in Beijing, question. Um, um, sa conférence de presse more uh, focus Beijing. Um, on his views on the, the Vietnamese invasion and uh, what, what his opinion was, what had led to the Vietnamese invasion, and how it should be uh, viewed in general. Mm, un avis général? Ses en général? Of course, I don't remember exact Réponse. words, but it was very clear. He's throwing in his lot with democratic Kampuchea. He's afraid Vietnam is going to swallow up Cambodia. And he kept that line all throughout. Le so is it, is it your recollection that there is really, when it comes to the Vietnamese invasion and, its, and Vietnamese ambition, there's no light Question. as to what he said in Beijing and what he officially said before the Security Council uh, at, I believe it was 15 January 1979 in New York? Not that I remember, no. Réponse, pas um, que je m'en souvienne, non. Do you remember the exact uh, words Question. of his speech? Vous souvenez-vous de ce qu'il a dit um, précisément dans son discours? Maybe I could help you a little bit. Uh, je pourrais peut-être vous aider un peu. He compared the invasion. Il a comparé uh, l'invasion du Vietnam. Uh, DK as uh, the invasion of. Uh, l'invasion du Cambodge uh, démocratique Germany par le Poland. Vietnam. Do you remember that? Ah, uh, l'invasion de la Pologne par l'Allemagne. Vous en souvenez-vous No, but I take your Réponse. Word for it. Non, mais je vous crois sur parole. And that he used um, um, he was he was using the example of Maître Copeu, il a um, utilisé l'exemple d'un grand constrictor being Vietnam slowly swallowing of, uh, Vietnam qui avalerait doucement doucement tout doucement le Vietnam. Vous souvenez-vous qu'il a dit cela
No, I, as I said, he kept non, saying swallowing Kampuchea, and the de dire DK leaders all said swallowing Kampuchea, so yes, that was the line. Did he remember the qualify Vietnamese invasion as a naked act of aggression, annexation, and fulfillment of long uh, term ambitions to swallow up the long date qui visait à avaler le Kampuchea démocratique Absolutely, it was standard speech. Réponse tout à fait, c'était le discours. Couple years, absolutely. Le discours pendant les deux années qui ont suivi. So then, would it be a fair conclusion, in your expert opinion, that there was not much light between? D'après votre avis expert. What the Soviet Union saw as Vietnamese ambitions, what China saw as were Vietnamese ambitions toward the UK. Des Vietnamiens vus par les Russes, vus par les Chinois, et Douglas Pike thought, and what Prince Yunuk thought. Et vu par euh, Prince Yanouk. The Soviet Union and China did not agree Réponse, on Vietnam's ambitions. L'Union soviétique et la Chine n'étaient pas d'accord sur United, les ambitions uh, du Vietnam. You know, and, uh, you had the Soviet Union. On avait l'Union soviétique. Et je ne me sens pas que ce que pensait Douglas Pike soit vraiment très important. Effectivement, les Soviétiques et les Chinois n'étaient pas tout à fait d'accord sur ce que voulaient ou quelles étaient les ambitions du Vietnam. Maître Coppe, passons à présent au Vietnam, si vous en êtes d'accord. Nous avons parlé des ambitions du Vietnam, de la politique, s'agissant du Cambodge en général et du Cambodge démocratique en particulier. Pourriez-vous nous dire quelque chose au sujet du régime post-30 April 1975 Led by the one or the one, as I understand, you have to pronounce it in Khmer. Would you be able to tell us anything about the regime that he was leading in Vietnam? À la tête duquel il était au Vietnam. That's a big subject. You mean how they were unifying it? C'est un sujet que l'on peut aborder pendant longtemps. Vous parlez du Vietnam unifié. Maître Coppoli, je suis d'accord avec vous, effectivement. On pourrait en parler pendant longtemps. Axons-nous alors sur la politique vis-à-vis de l'Union soviétique. Pourrait-on dire que c'était un staliniste et un partisan, un fief et partisan de la doctrine Il n'y a pas de question that Vietnam was very close to the Soviet Union and was very fearful of the Chinese. And since Ho Chi Minh and his famous speech in 1968, about the lips and the cup and the teeth and all that, there's no question they were close to the Soviet Union. Since Ho Chi Minh and his famous speech in 1968, about the lips and the cup and the teeth and all that, there's no question they were close to the Soviet Union. Since Ho Chi Minh and his famous speech in 1968, about the lips and the cup and the teeth and all that, I briefly mentioned the Brezhnev Doctrine. Would you be able to shed some light on what the Brezhnev Doctrine is? Mr. Kopp, I've talked about the Doctrine Brezhnev. Could you shed all the light on the Doctrine Brezhnev briefly? In what regard? Response. Concerning what particularly? Intervention invisible. Mr. Kopp, particularly on the subject of the socialist countries that would not stay in. De ceux qui l'arrivaient au pays socialiste qui s'écartait du giron de l'Union soviétique comme c'est arrivé en Afghanistan par la suite. Président, interrompt. Président, Madame l'expert, s'il vous plaît, et les internationaux qui vous ont attendu, le procureur international, vous avez la parole. In my Limited research. The Brezhnev Doctrine. What Brezhnev said was that when forces that are hesitant, forces that are hostile to socialism, try to turn to the development of some social country, turn the development of some socialist country towards capitalism, 
it becomes not only a problem of the country concerned, but a common problem and concern of all socialist countries. And I just want to make sure that the Council has the same understanding that Brezhnev was talking about a country turning towards capitalism. C'est que vous fassiez toute la lumière sur la doctrine Brezhnev. Président, Councillor Copé, could you speak more louder because your voice could not be heard by the interpreter? They already put two of those piles uh, to put the microphone closer to me. I, I will speak louder. That's, I suppose, the only uh, solution. So again, um, would Maître you Coppe. be able, better like this, would you be able to put the Brezhnev doctrine Alors, que vous um, or explain en it um, la taking de Czechoslovakia 68, en par exemple, Afghanistan 79, um, la Czechoslovakia into consideration in discussing the Brezhnev doctrine. And of course, especially how par la suite, l'Afghanistan et ensuite remettre cette doctrine dans le contexte du Vietnam, établir le lien entre le Vietnam et la doctrine Brezhnev. Expert, à vrai dire, c'est la première fois que j'entends parler de cette comparaison. L'avez-vous vu On avez-vous entendu parler par le passé Maître Coppe, vous parlez de la Tchécoslovaquie en 68 et la doctrine Brezhnev Réponse inaudible pour l'interprète. No, you asked me if I, and maybe I mis Expert. misunderstood your question. You said the Russian question. doctrine as applied to Czechoslovakia, Afghanistan, etc. How does that affect Vietnam and Cambodia? How does that affect Vietnam and Cambodia? How does that affect Vietnam and Cambodia? affecte le Vietnam et le Cambodge. The thing is, we're going a little fast. I I agree, but I have only limited time. Nous allons assez vite. J'en conviens, mais le temps qui m'est imparti est limité. Et ce que j'espère montrer par mes questions, l'entend ou comprendre grâce à mes questions. C'est la réponse à la question suivante. Pourriez-vous me dire si le Vietnam adhérait à la doctrine Brezhnev et si, de façon générale, il était en accord avec cette doctrine Brezhnev Est-ce que, de façon générale, ils étaient d'accord avec l'invasion par l'Union soviétique de la Tchécoslovaquie en 68 et par la suite l'invasion par l'Union soviétique de l'Afghanistan De façon générale, est-ce on pourrait établir une comparaison avec le Cuba de l'Asie. Est-ce que c'est un petit peu la même, le même esprit, le même type de politique que la doctrine Brezhnev en Union soviétique um. Given this, I have not seen this comparison before. But in '68, Vietnam was so involved with the war. I'm not sure that that they would say one way or the other. I, you know, I'm I'm afraid I don't see the comparison. I I cannot remember an official Vietnamese statement saying the Brezhnev of doctrine informed their invasion of Cambodia. I do not remember that. No. Je ne peux pas, je n'arrive pas à me rappeler que les Vietnamiens se soient fondés sur la doctrine Brezhnev pour envahir le Cambodge. Maître Coppe, vous souvenez-vous, savez-vous, s'il y a eu un conseil par un conseiller de l'Union soviétique qui aurait préconisé au Vietnam de faire la même chose avec le Cambodge que ce que l'Union soviétique avait fait en Tchécoslovaquie en 68 L'experte, non, je n'ai pas connaissance d'un tel avis ou d'un tel conseil. Maître Coppe, je reformule, est-ce que le Vietnam, en 76, 77, 78, 79, était un satellite soviétique au sens de la tradition stalinienne Je ne l'aurais jamais appelé le Vietnam un satellite soviétique, non. On ne peut pas qualifier le Vietnam de satellite soviétique, non. But you have read Stephen Morris's book. Question. Mais vous avez pourtant lu le livre de Stephen Morris. Et vous seriez-vous d'accord avec la façon dont il concevait le Vietnam et les relations avec l'Union soviétique? Um, I agree with Nayan Chanda's analysis, which is a much more independent Chandra, Vietnam, not a Soviet satellite. And I think what is pertinent in this argument is that um, Vietnam was incredibly poor after 75, very poor. Uh, the, the United States started an incredible embargo, and the, the poverty of, of the Vietnamese led to 
their people being sent to factories all over Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union to then Soviet Union to work. And it was highly resented by Vietnam. Those of us who later visited, they hated it. And in fact, if you remember when the Berlin Wall fell, you saw all these Vietnamese workers trying to get out. So they were definitely being holding. They were so poor, they had to pay back all that debt with sending their workers out. And we, this was known, this was publicly known, connu. but that I don't think meant publique. that they were satellites, I meant that it meant that they were very poor and they dire had to do that. Would you agree with me that Nayan Chander was not able to use Soviet, Soviet, Soviet archives as opposed to uh, Maurice, who was able to access uh, uh, material in the Soviet archives? Uh, I don't have I'll repeat for the, my expert on Soviet ar archives is not necessarily Stephen Morris. It's the man, uh, the Danish man who just won the Pulitzer Call for Embers of War that went through him. And uh, Sophie Quinn Judge, I think, is better. Je pense que and um, Judge est I don't, and neither of them would ever have called je pense um, aucun des deux uh, Vietnam a Soviet satellite. Le Vietnam de satellite um, I'll, I'll move on in relation Maître to Coppe Vietnam. Bien, and very briefly, uh, toujours uh, du Vietnam, on its, its own human rights record. Uh, you have written about that in your book. Um, would you be able to say something about um, uh, mass executions in South Vietnam, uh, Vietnam by North Vietnamese troops after 30 April uh, 75, especially former South Vietnam Qu'en est-il du military? sud de Vietnam, des droits de l'homme et particulièrement pour les anciens uh, représentants officiels uh, du Vietnam There's no question their human rights record was abysmal. I can't say that I know of Réponse. La situation um, des droits de l'homme était catastrophique, uh, cela ne fait aucun doute. Je the number ne of sais pas s'il y a des and rapports so exacts quant um, au nombre d'exécutions qui ont été perpétrées. Et peut-être so, est-ce parce que le gouvernement est encore au pouvoir et qu'on n'a pas accès à ces no documents. Je ne peux pas me prononcer, mais personne ne peut se faire l'avocat des droits de l'homme dans ce sens au Vietnam. The million plus um, boat Coppe. refugees, uh, ethnic Chinese who were expelled from Vietnam. Would you be able to say one or two sentences about that? Boat people, and surtout les Yes, and um, les de I actually réponse. reported on all that in both sections. Um, fait un à ce there sujet are two, as you sections. know, two different. Boat en fait deux the types ones in the de south who yeah, made it sud, largely to Southeast Asia and the, uh, the Chinese in the north. And that was very much related to uh, Cambodia, the ones in the north. The ethnic Chinese became very suspect by the Vietnamese because the Vietnamese thought the Chinese were behind their, um, their war with, with um, Cambodia. And they, um, even though the ethnic Chinese had been completely supportive of the communists, they were driven out a lot went to Hong Kong. And um, uh, it was another one of the tragedies Vietnam in this horrible war. And so it was one of the reasons for the tragedy in this horrible war. Now my, 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 my last question on this topic would be in the light of uh, what we talked about earlier in, um, in terms of Vietnamese ambitions to, to a DK, uh, de, uh, Vietnam's position le Cambodge, in the Soviet bloc, as you will. Uh, it's abysmal, your words, record, uh, human rights records. Le bloc soviétique, vous avez dit que la situation des droits de l'homme était catastrophique. Pourriez-vous nous donner votre avis d'expert et qualifier l'invasion du Vietnam Est-ce que, à votre avis, c'était un acte d'agression de grande ampleur ou s'agissait-il d'une intervention humanitaire Did you say humanitarian L'expert, yes, venez-vous de dire humanitaire <laughs> Réponse oui. Light on and off. Um, I don't think anybody's ever accused the Vietnamese of doing a humanitarian invasion. Um, this was a power on power invasion. Um, as you know, I think uh, the, the Cambodians overstretched with their small little border war. They did no idea the Vietnamese would come back as quick as they, might, they, they had. The, um, the humanitarian was stuck on at the end when they tried to get um, the UN to support them. Um, 
The only thing I would say is that um, since I, um, one has to be skeptical of all governments, um, the one thing I did write is that if Thailand had invaded and overthrown Phnom Penh, there might have been a very different reaction. But there, no one has ever thought the Vietnamese invasion was humanitarian at all. Well, I'm not sure about, about that, but um, uh, I would like at least uh, the record to reflect that you were laughing at my suggestion that it even could be a humanitarian intervention, and you were laughing because it is a ridiculous notion that we would that be correct. I laughed because I've never heard it before. No one, there were few, there's definitely a humanitarian component when they defeated the Khmer Rouge and the Khmer Rouge left, but no one ever thought that this was primarily the Khmer Rouge and the Khmer Rouge left, but no one ever thought that this was primarily humanitarian. If there had not been a border war, Vietnam would not have invaded. It was secondary that there was a big humanitarian component that the Khmer Rouge were overthrown and the people had, had, had a breather. But no, I, I, I don't know anybody who believes that this is anything but a Vietnamese response to the border war with Cambodia. Um, you just gave a very interesting answer uh, Maître Cope, to my question, at least part of your answer was interesting to me, question, and that is the following. You said that um, Vietnam, que le Vietnam pushed the Khmer Rouge out, kicked the Khmer Rouge out, or beat the Khmer Rouge in similar Rouge terms. Battu, Khmer Rouge, um, les amis en échec, les termes sont semblables. But isn't it true that the government that was installed, Mais pas vrai all members of that government were in fact le gouvernement en place uh, and et le gouvernement to, qui a été uh, instauré est constitué uh, également d'anciens uh, Khmer Rouge et pour call uh, the leader of that newly installed government uh, a pitiful puppet of the Vietnamese. Sianouk so I'm a little bit lost when you say the Khmer Rouge was de expelled. There was just another Faction of the Fantoche in power de, des Vietnamiens. as of 7 January 79, would you agree? Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord? Uh, no, I mean, that's like saying that um, Réponse, the, um, non. Ça the Vichy dire government was just another branch of the French government. Um, Hun Sen Hang Sun Ren, they were a front for the Vietnamese. Everybody wrote that. It was clear. Pour les they, were clair. Not, they, were, they were not part of democratic ne Kampuchea pas anymore. Du they weren't. Ils plus they had partie. fled during Ils the Eastern Purges, and then de they were the front for Ensuite, the Vietnamese. In fact, when the Vietnamese argued, when, the, when Sihanouk was arguing at the UN, Et they pretended they weren't there, and we all wrote they were. Unies, so to say this is an extension of DK, they're former dire DK, que yes. Une du but they were completely split off non. from DK and they were fighting DK. Il, uh, uh, that brings me to my, my, my next topic, um, 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 When, which Lorsque year do you put um, the uprising, as you will, or the split within the Khmer Rouge, um, and split into two La groups, or even three groups. Les en uh, deux one groupes, led by uh, groups, uh, un Pol Pot, par Pol Pot Nunchi, Nunchi Yang Sari, and the other one led by Sao Pen, Brunim, uh, and, and others. Et when, which year, which time would you put that split? A votre avis, quand est-ce que cette scission a eu lieu? En quelle année pourriez-vous dire que ça a eu lieu? President, Madame, Madame Expert, please Madame wait Expert, and the International Co-Procureur International, you have the floor. Your Honor, the question presumes all kinds of facts that the witness has question, not testified to. The question presumes, obviously, the counsel would like to uh, presume this, that there was a conspiracy between various members, Ross Nim, Sao Pin, etc. The counsel wishes to ask the witness whether that was the case, that's fine. But you shouldn't ask her a question presuming facts that there is no evidence from this witness about. Alors qu'il n'y a pas de preuve. Uh, I will, I'll be happy to uh, move back a little bit. Um, Maître Cope, je serais ravi de revenir en arrière. Would you be able to tell us something about um, the rebellion or the split within the Khmer Rouge before the Vietnamese came? Pourriez-vous nous parler de la rébellion ou um, de la scission entre les Khmer Rouges avant l'arrivée des Vietnamiens? Earlier, on a parlé de Sao Pim, Romim, l'un s'est suicidé en 1978, l'un s'est suicidé en juin, l'autre a été exécuté. 
Would you be able to say something more in general que terms about them? Que pouvez-vous nous dire de façon générale au sujet de ces personnes? As I describe it in my book, it's a purge. It's not a split. Réponse. Comme je l'ai dit, c'est une purge. Ce n'est pas une scission. Et cette purge est venue dans les preuves montrées à Tulslang. An attack on the various regions for the center to take more power. I don't describe it as a split. I describe it as a purge. I realize that that is a dumb view. Of course, this will be a topic in this trial whether that is a split or not. Of course, this will be a topic in this trial whether that is an actual accurate view. C'est un point de vue. J'entends bien. Maintenant, il s'agit de voir si ce point de vue est exact. C'est une question qui est en débat ici pendant ce procès. Je reprends vos mots. Vous parlez d'une purge. Une purge implique que une partie pense que l'autre est en train de la trahir. À votre avis, quand est-ce que cette trahison a commencé, Ronim et Saupim À quel moment se sont-ils opposés Ont-ils commencé à s'opposer à la politique du camp ouvrier démocratique Can your honor? There has been absolutely no evidence from this witness that Ross Nim or Sal Pim opposed the policy. L'expert n'a présenté aucune preuve selon lesquelles Ross Nim et Sal Pim se seraient opposés au régime. Exactly. Maître Copé, oui, précisément. The evidence shows that the center. Began purging the regions in 1977. Le centre a commencé à mener des purges à partir de 1977. So that would mean exactly when. Donc, purging was necessary. À votre avis, cela veut dire que les purges ont été nécessaires à partir de quel moment, d'après eux? The records show that they. Boy, it's in such detail. I don't even want to know where to begin. But it just became a snowball. And it started to see the effects of the snowball. And it just became a 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 snowball. Le revirement they see the enemy no longer necessarily as CIA or KGB, but they now see it as Vietnam. And um, that's when I, that's sort of 77, and that's the way I would date it. Um, there is no, um, unless you have it, I don't remember major policy divisions that were cited. It was um, a, 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 a general sense of traitor. The betrayal, but it was one side had all the power and did all the killing, and the other side was in the in the region. The center had the power, did the purging, and they went systematically through the different regions. De façon systématique dans chacune des régions. I would like to question to show or to read to you an excerpt from a book. J'aimerais vous lire un extrait d'un livre which is the follow-up of a documentary film which was qui fait suite à un documentaire qui est utilisé comme pièce à maintes reprises lors du premier procès. C'est le livre « Beyond the Killing Fields » de Ted Sambat et Gina Chon. Avez-vous bien dit connaître ce livre ou bien ne connaissez-vous que le film Réponse, seulement le film. Mr. President, with your leave, I would like to to quote from this book. J'aimerais citer ce livre. I don't see as quickly the E3 number. Je ne retrouve pas la cote en E3. E152.2 and the ERN number in English that I'm quoting is page 106 of the book. Zero zero seven five seven five three two. Zero zero seven five seven five three two. Three four one. 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 Un cadre de la zone nord-ouest de rang intermédiaire. 
called in the book dans le livre uh, Chan Zavut. il est appelé Chan Zavut. He is the, he used to be the head of the hospital in the region Batambang. chef de l'hôpital de la région um, Batambang. And uh, he is uh, quoted or paraphrased by Tetsambat. Et Tetsambat paraphrase comme suit ses propos. Chan Zavut, Chan Zavut, head of the hospital in his chef region in Batambang. Chef de de la said région in de Batambang. Batambang. In one of the meetings he attended in Sadao to overthrow Pol Pot. Lors d'une réunion uh, auquel secrecy was mandatory pour renverser Pol Pot, Rosny m'a dit que le secret était essentiel. Plot, Quiconque était impliqué dans le complot serait sûrement exécuté. Was very big and important. Le and plan won, était très large en cas de... Safoud a dit que nous avons encouragé parce que des gens de Phnom Penh comme Van Vett appuyaient le plan et il y avait Sopim dans la zone est. Uh, this particular statement of this mid-ranking cadre from Voici Batambang ce dit, ce cadre uh, de rang moyen seems to de be uh, supported by another cadre cited uh, par un by Tatsambad in his book. Um, and I read in the book that would be um, ERN ERN English 0075-7531. And four zero. This is page 104 in the book. Four hundred and four and four. Surviving Khmer Rouge cadre said there was indeed a plot to overthrow Pol Pot and Chia and the rest of the leadership. Il y avait eu un complot visant à renverser Pol Pot et Chia. In tune of Pursat probably said there was a plan in 1976 to stage a coup that would be led by the Northwest and Eastern zones. In tune of Pursat, there was a plan in 1976 visant à organiser un coup d'état général par les zones Nord-Ouest et Est. Tout le monde savait qu'il y avait now he is renverser putting this uh, to 76. L'auteur situe ça autour de 76. Would that change your answer you just Est-ce que ça in light modifie of la réponse of these two que vous avez donnée uh, et ce compte tenu du témoignage de ces deux cadres um, it's réponse. I know Sambat, I know je when he did these interviews. Je sais quand I, il a réalisé um, ces entretiens. I, I would Take it with a grain of salt. I do not think that is proof that je there was a plot. Ça but avec des pincettes, je ne pense pas que ce soit une preuve. Would you be able to ex Question. expand why you would take that with Pourquoi a grain of salt? Pourquoi prendriez-vous cette information avec des pincettes? Two isolated interviews. I'd want to find some follow-up. That's ce it's sont way after the fact. There's no other supporting documents. C'est bien après les faits. Il n'y a pas de document à l'appui. Well, he's, I'm Question. just quoting uh, yep. no. two, um, there's, another, there's a third one, by the way, but I'm just quoting two from his book. I'm not sure if he uh, Je ne fais que citer have more. Un passage, peut-être que l'auteur a d'autres informations dans ce sens. Uh, D'ailleurs, au dossier, il y a des pièces, I'm, I'm my phrasing, et si je pèse mes mots, des pièces qui um, semblent uh, étayer this evidence indicating that, um, the southwest à savoir the leaders of the southwest zone, Saupim, and the leaders of the northwest zone were uh, conspiring uh, already in 75-76. How did they do that? They uh, had big storage of rice, uh, weapons, etc., in order to be able to um, as, they, as this cadre says, overthrow L'idée, uh, comme dit uh, ce cadre, detail. était de renverser Again, le camp de démocratique. To, uh, your would be, or your, your Quelle est votre be réaction Madame l'expert, please wait, and the international co-prosecutor to have a call. Your Honor, that misstates the evidence in the case file. I know exactly what counsel is referring to. We've made a submission to the court, and that grossly misstates the facts. It's not for counsel to ask, I think, the witness to evaluate evidence that hopefully the chamber will hear in the future. It's not for counsel to ask the witness to evaluate evidence that hopefully the chamber will hear in the future. I'd be la happy to, to give direct quotes, but then we Je go into an area where I'm sure there's like a million objections and I don't, I don't want to go there. So my, my, my question in general would be, uh, Mrs. Becker, Madame Becker, again, why would plus, you say that we have to take the findings of Ted Sambat, which down in his book, les conclusions also a par Ted Sambat in his dans son livre, mais aussi dans son film. 
because that's the line of the DK leadership, and that's what all these people were forced to confess. It's exactly what you read in Tulsa and Archives. This is not new. This is not new. This is not new. Tout le slang dans les archives, ce n'est pas nouveau. J'ai passé du temps dans les archives à tout le slang et tous les gens les écoutaient disent la défense. C'est vrai, je ne dis rien de nouveau, mais ce sont des gens qui apparemment n'ont pas été à tout le slang. Ils l'ont dit volontairement. I mean, I can see your point when you say you have to be careful with interpreting confessions of S21. Although there are many arguments to be made about that, but they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have not been in S21. But they seem to be cadres which have there hasn't been a question. L'accusation. Aucune question n'a été posée. It seems that the expert, the witness, was understanding my question. She was already starting to address me. Elle avait déjà commencé à y répondre. Mr. President, if I could address you. Je demande la parole. Il existe une procédure au cours des tribunaux où j'exerce depuis 35 ans. Une question est posée, une réponse est donnée. Si sans une question, on ne peut pas répondre. Si sans une question, on ne peut pas répondre. Si sans une question, on ne peut pas répondre. Si sans une question, on ne peut pas répondre. S'il n'y a pas de question, on ne peut pas soulever d'objection. S'il n'y a pas de question claire, les interrogatoires sont moins fructueux. Je prie la défense donc de poser des questions aux témoins plutôt que de faire des déclarations pour entendre ensuite la réaction de l'experte. Vous le savez bien, Monsieur le Président, c'est un thème très important pour notre cause. Il s'agit d'établir de quelle manière certaines factions se sont combattues au Cambodge démocratique. Nous devrions avoir la latitude requise pour le faire. Cette experte est parfaitement à même de bien saisir pour employer les termes du Cambodge démocratique ce que je lui dis. Et si elle peut le faire, eh bien, qu'elle le fasse. Président. Le président, même si l'expert est capable de répondre aux questions, le processus de les interrogatoires doivent se poursuivre comme cela a été fait jusqu'ici. Veuillez donc poser les questions de façon appropriée et ainsi vous obtiendrez aussi des réponses appropriées propices à la manifestation de la vérité. Procédons autrement. Je vous dis que la rébellion dirigée par Bosnie et Sopim a commencé en 75-76 déjà. Et c'était une vraie Rébellion. Ai-je raison de le dire ou bien est-ce que je me trompe complètement Je ne pense pas qu'il y ait preuve, je pense que c'est faux. Et je continue à dire que ces étaient des purges from the top. Je le répète, ce sont des purges imposées d'en haut et opérées dans les régions. Question. Soit. Ce sont des purges imposées d'en haut et opérées dans les régions. Question. Soit. Ce sont des purges imposées d'en haut et opérées dans les régions. Question. Soit. Ce sont des purges imposées d'en haut et opérées dans les régions. Question. Soit. Ce sont des purges imposées d'en haut et opérées dans les régions. Le meurtre de Malcolm Caldwell. Je pense que là-dessus, vous pourrez sans aucun doute déposer, compte tenu de votre expérience, de ce que vous avez pu voir. J'aimerais reprendre le document déjà utilisé. He's also in that same report that I gave you quotes about. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. On what happened. Giving his views on that night. Nine zero zero four one nine two one one. Cent quatre-vingt-douze onze. Um. I quote as follows: The third Westerner in the party, Malcolm Caldwell, forty-seven. 
avec 47 ans, c'était un économiste spécialisé dans la ville du Sud-Est, mais il n'a pas traversé, il n'a pas survécu à l'épreuve, il a été abattu par balle. The three of us were targets Nous trois of a terrorist avons été les cibles d'un attentat terroriste, un effort apparent pour embarrasser le gouvernement du Kampuchea. Um, Voici ma question. First of all, your reaction Premièrement, as quelle est votre réaction à cette analyse de Dunman sur les événements tragiques de cette nuit-là Uh, I don't understand what you're asking. Je ne saisis pas la question. Uh, question. Um, I'll, I'll expand. Um, you, in your book, have Dans votre livre, given a possible theory vous avancez the why une version of possible of des causes And de l'exécution uh, de uh, C'est faute de temps que j'ai rapidement report, cité Dudman qui semble uh, laisser entendre que cette exécution in, in visait à embarrasser le gouvernement du Cambodge démocratique. Si j'ai bien compris votre analyse, vous semblez insinuer, insinuer et corrigez-moi le cas échéant, qu'il s'agissait d'un acte commis uh, par des gens du so Cambodge démocratique, is, voire par des autorités um, du régime. Voici donc ma question. Pouvez-vous nous éclairer uh, davantage au sujet killing. des raisons qui pourraient expliquer cet assassinat Dick, doesn't suggest foreigners, does he? Dick ne dit pas que ce sont des étrangers qui l'ont fait, n'est-ce pas Non, il ne dit pas que ce sont des Vietnamiens. Il semble insinuer que ça a été probablement l'œuvre de gens du pays, mais que l'objectif apparemment était d'embarrasser le régime du Conseil démocratique, y compris Pol Pot. Autrement dit, cet acte n'a pas été fait à l'instigation de Pol Pot. Ce qui, corrigez-moi si je me trompe, semble être votre théorie à vous. Je n'ai pas du tout insinué cela. Ma théorie est la suivante. Premièrement, And tool slang, it's clearly Cambodian v. Cambodia. And if you're going, and I also say it's so irrational that to try to find a rationality for this is the same as finding rationality for the millions of Cambodians who died during the Khmer Rouge. However, if you pushed me against the wall and said, what would be a reason, the most obvious reason that came to my mind was that there were some people in the UK who were not happy that Yang Sari had promoted opening up the country to foreigners who were not friendly delegations. That's the most obvious thing that I could think of. But I don't pretend that I know. 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 But I don't pretend est-il possible que ce soit l'œuvre de cadres Khmer Rouge qui auraient agi sur instruction des Vietnamiens Si j'étais les Vietnamiens et que je calculais ainsi, et si je pouvais m'infiltrer dans Phnom Penh, je ne nous aurais pas pris pour cible. Il y avait de bien meilleures cibles. C'est absurde. Pourquoi non Question. C'est de la spéculation, mais en tant qu'expert, Estimez-vous possible que ça ait été l'œuvre de membres de la faction des opposants agissant sur instruction du Vietnam Réponse. Je pense avoir répondu. Je pense que c'est vraiment tiré par les cheveux. Question. I would like to go to another topic. That's the use of propaganda by Vietnam. 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 Propagan
English page 0018 0018 73 89 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034474 0034
L'auteur uh, essaie d'analyser les récits um, des réfugiés. Also in, in, in light of what Vickery has written about that. And I would like to uh, give you a quote from his, his book. Un passage. Um, it's the second page. I thought I had an uh, ERN number, but I'm afraid I don't have it right now, but I will give that later to you, Mr. President. Um, he writes as follows. Uh, he's actually talking first about uh, uh, an example of a long départ, list of distortions and manifest uh, dishonesty by serious and supposedly responsible uh, non-partisan uh, Western journals. And then he goes on to quote, to say, and I quote, Je le cite, distortions also occur through the bias in refugee reports, dans the major uh, source of information. These reports emanated mainly from upper and middle class urban people who had lost all or most of their wealth and who, therefore, had enough reason to hate and discredit the new regime. With the sorry conditions of life in the refugee camps, they would depict the situation in democratic Kampuchea even worse than it was to justify their flight. This bias was compounded by the frustrations and tensions of refugee life, by covert pressure from camp leaders, Thai officials, and foreign agencies on whom the refugees were dependent. Um, by homesickness and the refugees' accounts with each telling. They would also tell the stories they thought the interviewers wanted to hear, supposing this might help them get out of the camps to some third country. They were, all, they were well aware that their interviewers were more interested in sensationalist horror stories. Hearsay became personal experience, uh, and camp leaders, subordinate to anti-communist Thai officials, did select refugees to recount atrocity stories. Stories could be bought. Sometimes standard interviews were handed out, written by people who could neither read nor write, and sometimes did not even speak Khmer. Some refugees gave different stories to different people. End of quote. Um, Madam, Mrs. Becker, you just testified Madame earlier Becker, that you haven't actually spoken to uh, refugees yourself, but are you aware that there is the discussion in academic literature, Vickery, um, Berkler, but to a certain extent confirmed by a witness on the stand, François Panchot, that um, there was a lot of exaggeration uh, in the stories of refugees in uh, Thai refugee camps. I didn't say I'm President, Madame Expert, uh, please wait. And instant, the vous International Co Lawyer for Civil Parties, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président, pour, pour vous permettre de suivre Mr. les President. questions. In order to, to properly follow the question, could counsel? 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 We are unable to follow him closely because we do not know the basis on which he is asking these questions to the expert. Uh, in, in any case, I have the ERN number now, Mr. President. It's 01002125. It's document E307-5.2.17. Forget about Poncho, forget about Vickery. Um, my, my question is, Ms. Becker, your reaction to the quote from Burglar as to the reliability in general of refugee stories. First of all, you misquoted me. I only said in that particular instance I had not gone to Thailand to talk to refugees. I did before I went to Democratic Kampuchea, and I also talked, interviewed refugees when they got to the United States. So I did not say I had never at all. Um, it's of course you always treat refugees' stories with care and caution, and you do all kinds of due diligence. Um, that's, that's not in debate. And as I wrote in my book, there were many instances where you had to 
be Très careful souvent, and look at it. For instance, when they said anybody wearing a pair of glasses was killed. Uh, si par exemple on nous disait that's, que toutes les personnes a, qui portaient des lunettes étaient, des lunettes étaient tuées, you question them. Il fallait and poser des questions. You find pretty soon they it's Et becomes souvent, it's not just it's not wearing glasses it's someone who's considered an intellectual and then pretty soon you find out where, but you have to be careful there's no question that is i don't think that's that issue at all that does, to be careful doesn't mean that you think they're liars so i disagree i do not think the refugees were liars i think most of us did use care and caution and i think my profession is better than you just described it my my my, the point of my uh, reading, reading the, the quote to you Question. wasn't saying that refugees are liars, passage, uh, non pas but that you have to be very careful mentait, with mais bien uh, pour dire assessing the value, the proper value, uh, if you will, uh, of their testimony. You came up with um, de ces récits. stories of refugees in the light of my question as to uh, the propaganda, the use of propaganda by Vietnam and then by its puppet government of atrocities, Vietnam, mass atrocities. So my question is, um, in, in relation to those two things, on the one hand, uh, exaggeration of uh, atrocities, and on the other hand, uh, being careful with um, interpreting stories of refugees. My question is, would you agree that um, in, order, in order to be able to assess whether there is a, a deliberate effort uh, of exaggerating the mass atrocities, uh, the stories of refugees are not relevant in order to determine that. Pensez-vous qu'au vu de certaines exagérations, on ne puisse pas accorder toute la valeur, la valeur la plus juste aux récits des réfugiés? Now, réponse, je ne vous ai pas bien compris. Je n'ai pas compris ce que vous avez dit. Who's, who's, who's using refugee? I have no idea what you just said. Je me suis perdu. Je n'ai rien compris, en fait. We started, my, I started my questions question. with um, the quote or the, the, the citation from Pike and the use of propaganda by uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. We were talking about Vietnam. whether Vietnam was more skillful than Cambodia. Si and then you said uh, that is very true, but you have to look at the content. Because the content is actually context. true. And in order to uh, back up your answer, you were referring to uh, refugee stories. Ensuite, uh, and then I sort of countered you, but yes, you have to realize refugees are not always telling the Et truth. Je dit que oui, so I suppose I come back pas la uh, to my original question. Donc je suis revenu ensuite Did à Vietnam initiale, à savoir and its uh, installed government le Vietnam, um, mais use propaganda means to exaggerate uh, stories of mass atrocities in decade. I'm going to walk you through what I think just happened. Réponse. You quoted a October 1978 uh, Douglas, Douglas Pike item. I said by 1978, there were any number of refugee stories on the Thai border. Then you just said that this has to do with the installed government of Vietnam in 1979-80. The propaganda effort started already in 78 and was then continued by the, by the, the, the government installed by, um, by Vietnam. That is my point. Okay. Voilà ce que je voulais dire. Réponse, d'accord. When you, okay, it's, it's a very dizzying thing you just did, but when journalists were finally all allowed to come into Cambodia under the Vietnamese occupation Bien, and they opened the doors. Tourni. They didn't have to say a boo word. It was, it was the first time it was opened up. Que so la fois que le pays propaganda as making things up, no, I'm not going to agree with you on that one. Uh, I mean, tool slang was there. The records were there. Pour That's what's being used cas. in this trial. Il y avait des archives, il y avait des faits. C'est ce dont on parle ici, précisément dans le tribunal. C'est ce que l'on utilise au sein du tribunal. Talking tool slang is something different than as to what happened in cooperatives. Oui, mais parce que parler de ce qui s'est passé à tool slang est complètement différent de ce qui s'est passé dans les coopératives. Killing people because, for whatever reason, something different than tool slang. Parce que l'on tuait des personnes parce qu'elles portaient des lunettes. Il faut faire la part des choses entre tool slang et le reste. And by then, 
if, the question, if this was a question. Bien, alors, si By then we had, we had refu refugees, and uh, my book begins with May Campote, who describes how they were Campot, killed in the cooperatives. He's someone I know and trust, and has nothing to do with tools slang, but he was finally free to talk because 1979, the Khmer Rouge were overthrown. So we are, not, we are talking about a whole country where people could leave, and without any propaganda or whatever, I could be thankful that Kampot was alive and that I could talk to him. So no, that your A to B doesn't work. Uh, very well. I have one very last small question, and that is, um, if you allow me, Mr. President, in relation to uh, an answer to the question that you uh, gave uh, from the prosecution, that is about killing of Cham, uh, that you were read a few passages from your book. Uh, you recall them, uh, but I would like to, rec to read to you one other passage uh, in your book as well. It's uh, page 253 of your book, um, and that would be document E3-20, ERN's English 00237958. Khmer 00232334 and French 00438511. It's the first paragraph of your book, page 253. And you, uh, wrote there as follows, and I quote. One of the greatest concentrations of charms was in the eastern zone. Sopim, leader of that zone, had a reputation for disciplining his cadre and preventing unnecessary bloodshed, but he showed no mercy towards the charms. Just as the eastern zone had complied with the party's orders to suppress the Khmer communists returning from Vietnam during the war, so the eastern zone complied with the pogrom against the charms. Uh, is it your opinion that the killings of the Chams were mainly done by the Eastern Zone troops under the leadership of so Pim? Le le disregard the instructions, yes or no, but the actual killing, the actual fact, uh, deed of killing, was that done, in your opinion, primarily by Eastern Zone troops? It's just as I've written it. Yes. Réponse. Oui, comme cela est écrit ici. President. Le président. Today's uh, proceeding has now come to an end, and we will resume it tomorrow. That is Wednesday, 11th February 2015, starting from 9 o'clock. And tomorrow, the chamber will continue to hear the testimony of the expert, Elizabeth Becker. And this is uh, to uh, notify all the parties and the general public. And the chamber is grateful to you, Madam Expert. However, your testimony is not yet concluded, and we would like to invite you again to return to the courtroom tomorrow, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning, and you may now return to uh, your residence. Court officer, in collaboration with VISU, please make a necessary arrangement of transportation for the experts to her residence and have her return to the courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. And security uh, guard, you're instructed to take the accused Nunji and Q Sampon back to the detention facility and have them return to participate in the proceedings before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned.